Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to batch translate multiple PDFs into different file formats using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Before we get further into the video, you do need a subscription for Adobe Acrobat Pro. At this point, the tool that we'll use to batch translate multiple files is not available on the free version of Acrobat. Let's go over a use case for batch translating multiple PDF files. Let's say that we are a researcher and we're researching solar power and solar systems. We have a few different articles that we want to save as text into a database. We can do this manually. The way that we do this is we go to export PDF. We can see that we can translate to various file types. I'll go to more formats and I want to save this as plain text. I'll go to export and save this in the downloads folder. We can see here that we were able to translate the PDF into a text file. There are issues when it comes to rendering equations and graphs to text format. We'll also see later in the video when it comes to scan PDFs, there are also issues. Now that we know how to manually translate a PDF to text, let's create the action in order to automatically translate multiple PDF files. We'll do this using Action Wizard. So let's select Action Wizard, and we are going to create an action to batch translate. We'll go to New Action, and in order to do this, we need to go to Recognize Text, and we're going to select Recognize Text using OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and what Adobe is going to go do is it's going to scan the PDF look at all of the characters here and translate it to text format. We'll hit the plus sign here, add that in. You can specify the settings and search through those to see what you can edit. But the only edit we'll make is we are going to uncheck prompt user because we want to automate the process of translate the, translating PDFs to text. Next, I'm going to go to save and export and we are going to save it as a text file. So I need to bring that over here. And within specify settings, I need to export files to a text format. The final step we'll take is we need to specify where this will take place. This will take place in the downloads folder here, and we can then run the action. We'll call it PDF to text. and we have our action saved. We can go to Tools, then we can go back to Action Wizard, and then we can run our PDF to text action. Let's run it. It will take a few minutes to scan and translate all of the files here. Now that the translation has finished running, we can go back to our folder and we can see that we have all of the text files here. I will at this point point out one of the issues with Adobe's OCR model. If we take a look at this article here, we can see that it was scanned in. It wasn't natively written in Word then translated to PDF. Somebody actually scanned this in and saved it as a PDF. If we take a look at the text file that it was saved into, we can see that Adobe's OCR model was not able to capture the text for this article. And this is one of the limits in working with some of the scanned PDF files. What we can do next is we can actually upload the files into Google Colab and take a look at it within the database that we'll create. What I'm going to do is I am going to create a folder and save all of the text files in here. We have it saved and we can see that now we have the text files stored within a pandas data frame. And you can check this out within GitHub. I have this all saved there. So you can play around with this and take a look how well the program did translating the files. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included a link to Adobe's website that summarizes Action Wizard and how to use it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again and happy coding.